In this video, I want to show you just how easy it is to turn your Ocean WP website multilingual with WPML. This is a demo site that I've imported using the Ocean Extra plugin. It was built using Ocean WP, Elementor, and WooCommerce. This is the homepage. It has a menu in the header, a hero section with text and calls to action, and page content that includes a list of WooCommerce products. At the very bottom, we've got a selection of footer widgets. The site also has a shop page, an account page, a cart, and more. Let me show you how I quickly translated this entire website into French using WPML. You need to install WPML's core plugins, CMS, string translation, and media. When configuring WPML, you firstly need to choose your default and secondary languages. I'll choose French. Then, choose how you'd like to format your URL. Next, register your WPML site key. Click on Get a key for this site and follow the instructions to access a development or production site key. Now is the important part where you choose how you would like to translate your site. You have two options, translate everything or translate some. Translate everything will automatically translate your site's main content as you publish or update it, while translate some lets you pick and choose what content you would like to translate, when it is translated and who it is translated by. I'm gonna choose the fastest method Translate everything. This means all my existing content will get translated instantly and all future content will be translated as it is added or updated. At this stage, I can also choose if I'd like to review my translated content before it is published, or I can publish and then review it at a later date, or I can not review it at all. It's up to you. In this case, I'm going to publish the translated content immediately and then review it at a later date. Wrapping up the rest of the setup wizard, I'm asked to install WooCommerce Multilingual as I have WooCommerce installed already. This is an included add-on from WPML that helps translate WooCommerce stores, like the one that I'm using in this example. Because I've installed WooCommerce Multilingual, I now need to finish the setup wizard for this plugin too. While configuring the add-on, I've decided to enable multi-currency to let me show different currencies per language. And I've also decided to translate all products automatically as I create or edit them. After completing both setup wizards, I'm taken to the WPML translation management dashboard, which will now calculate what content needs to be translated and how many translation credits that will cost me. This is because automatic translation isn't free. We use translations from Google, Microsoft or DeepL. New WPML accounts come with enough credits to translate a small to medium sized site like mine, but if you need more credits, you can easily purchase them. As you can see, WPML is busy translating all of my site's content automatically into my chosen secondary language, French. When it's finished, myself or a local translator can review these translations on the front end. I can quickly accept any translations that are correct or edit any translations that might be wrong from directly within WPML's Advanced Translation Editor. I'm now going to check the front end of my site. Finding the WPML language switcher in the footer, I can see that WPML has translated all of my main site content into French. It's even translated my WooCommerce products, my shop page, my account, my cart, and my checkout page. But what about smaller texts, like the widgets in this footer? Well, because this footer is built using Elementor, but added via the Ocean WP customizer, 
there's actually some special steps we need to do here to make this translatable. Firstly, we need to go to the WPML settings and set the custom post type My Library to translatable. When I press save, I can choose to translate all of the templates in my library automatically, or I can select to translate only some of the templates. In this case, I'm going to choose to translate all of the templates because I only have one. Going back to the Ocean WP library, WPML has already translated the footer into French. I can review this translation if I'd like to, but there is still one more step if I want to see the translation on the front end. I need to tell WPML which post to show for each secondary language. As you can see, the post ID for the English footer is 308. If I switch to the French translation, the post ID shows as 1134. Now I know what the French post ID is, I need to go to WPML's string translation module and set the translation. Search for the ID of the template in the default language, in my case, 308. Then set the translation to the relevant post ID for your translated template, in this case, 1134. And that's it. On the front end, I'm now able to see both my English footer and my French footer. But what about smaller strings like this copyright text? These don't get translated automatically as they are too small for automatic translation to receive context. We call these strings and they're easily translatable via WPML's string translation module. Simply search for the string that you are looking to translate and then insert the translation for your secondary languages. Let me just wrap up the final touches. I want to add two new currencies to my website via the WooCommerce multilingual settings, pound sterling and euro. And there you have it, a working multilingual site built in minutes with OceanWP, Elementor, WooCommerce and WPML.